So now I'm gonna show you how to install the Rigitech Delos RBW on a simple Intel motherboard. So the first things that you have to get and that are most important is the back plate and I would recommend you to lay out the screws just like that because these four long screws go into the back plate like this which is the correct uh, spot and like kudos to uh, Rigintech like their screws didn't fit that well these are much more secure right now so they definitely did that better now compared to older products like it actually sticks it's good so I was I was thinking that this is gonna be much harder than it actually is but it's actually easy and now the backlight is actually easy to insert so you just go like this put it in just gotta fiddle a bit with the screws but it goes in easily and as always I'd recommend you to do this against a flat surface because it helps a lot when fixing the back plate. Next step you got these spacers. You got these spacers that you're gonna install with these little washers. So basically you just put one washer there and then you just roll 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 your I was gonna say joint but that's not correct. This is a family friendly channel, so just put it in and screw it like this. Remember to do do it in a crossed pattern way so you don't overly tighten one side, then it's impossible to actually tighten it up. You can see that now you have some height to install the rest of the things that you need for the cooler so just make sure that everything is nicely tightened up which it is as we can see here after this you get this nifty little back plate I mean this is not the back plate this is just like a retention plate you put it in here like this like I really like how everything is basically toolless so it's really easy to install everything just quick nice and easy to install everything we got here then you install the standoffs depending on the orientation that you want from for the cooler so that's a important step uh, if you see, if you want your cooler facing on the horizontal direction, you put your brackets here, here, and here. If you want your cooler facing the vertical direction, so you so the the plate is perpendicular to the standoffs, you put your standoffs here and here. One thing that I'm also gonna check is like, for example, you see that you might run into some clearance issues when you have like. RAM that is in this slot so even like this uh, I can install the cooler uh, it has no issue but for, for those of you that have the four populated slots you might be worried the standoffs are ready to be installed and like I said like this for this orientation and we finish up with these screws so, all in all, like the installation process is a lot better than uh, Regintech usually is because the backplate now actually sticks, the, the screws actually stick to the backplate which makes for a much better install. You just put on some thermal paste at your own liking. This plastic cover like I was just doing. So uh, make sure you point the right side to the front of your case if you want because the air is going to travel this way and then you just put it on top uh, and then you just slide this plate <coughs> make sure that it fits its slots 
on the two little things that the cooler has on top. It has two little, and then eventually you will find the right spot. But like, you you will definitely want a thinner screwdriver than this one because it hits the sides. So I'm screwing at a tilted angle, which is not ideal. And then eventually, when it's nice and steady, you get something like this. So now remember, this is a triple fan, tri triple 92 millimeter fan. So you're gonna have this light, nice little bunch of cables here. So the thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the triple fan header that's included. I'm gonna join them all. The Rygin Tech Delos. RBW is finally finished. It's a nice little piece of cooler. I'm gonna show you the side profile of it. It's nice. Like, not, not bulky at all. It'll fit smaller profile cases. Uh, but beware with the height due to this added RGB comple complexity thing because the rest of it, it's quite. Mm, it's not tall. So, up next, we're gonna show how it performs and how it looks lightened up. So, this is the look of the Regentech Delos RBW once you actually power it up. Uh, I'm just power cycling this through some of the color modes because since this uses a 3-pin addressable RGB header and I do not have any of those either on this motherboard or our B350 system I had to program uh, an Arduino micro microcontroller to do the LED effects because if you don't have the 3-pin the pin LED either connected, you won't have this fan, so it's something to keep in mind. You need, you will need to have the 3-pin if you want to have the full uh, aesthetic experience of the Delos. Another thing is that it's quite loud because, I mean, these are three 92mm fans, which means they have to spin more, and I don't think, I think that using two fans, it will, it will probably be the sweet spot because more than that, you just add noise to absolutely no uh, cooling, cooling performance. So, I'm just gonna run a Cinebench while you guys are here, and I'm gonna shut up so you can listen. It's really loud, like, uh, I mean, it's, it's to be expected because this is like 92mm fans with a max speed 2000 RPM, so they will be loud. But and although the the airflow is quite big, I'm gonna remove one one from the back just to see how the performance degrades on Cinebench. Like the temperatures are pretty similar, like only two degrees off, and that can can even be variation because even not to on the their DH15 only uses two fans, so unless this is super restricted, I don't think you gain a lot. And you also remove noise if you just use two fans. No, you don't because this one is still running, but I can try to, di to disconnect it. Now we you only have like the two one running and it's a bit less noise for about the same performance. It's a bit better performance actually, it's 2 to 3 degrees. So, but even then, I think it's... It's an, like, it looks amazing and it's good for uh, good, for reduced uh, enclosures where you don't have enough space, but other than that, it's a bit hard because it looks amazing and it has decent performance for coolers that will be run stock or not very overclocked, I think. But overall, uh, it could have a little bit better performance, but on the other side, if you're just gonna want something that looks good, this is definitely the cooler for you if you don't have space in your case. So if you have any questions, I'm gonna show you the graphs up next, and we will end up with some closing thoughts. So, starting with the stock results of the Delos, we can see that it gets about the same performance as the Mio, which is a 120 millimeter cooler. But this is expected because when using the 
CPU on stock velocities. This means that you don't have as much heat output as when you have it overclocked, which will be the main issue with these 92 millimeter tower towers because they won't be able to dissipate as much heat as a bigger and thicker tower. Talking about overclocked results, now we see that the Delos slightly uh, slightly starts to fall back compared to, to the Maya because I think that three fans is too much when the fans don't have enough CFM because uh, you can just cannot outperform a well-built bigger and thicker tower cooler like the Mia, even though it has a slightly worse fans uh, when you have like 92 millimeter fans with just 20 CFMs. Uh, the Delos might be a bit too much if you're going to do an aggressive overclock like the 4.5 gigahertz that we have here, but it will be absolutely perfect for the newer Ryzen ships that are cooler and produce less heat than older ships like this Intel that we have here. Talking about the acoustic performance, the Mia RBW, we, when, when you overclock it, uh, it's actually quite good, but we were going to review that cooler later. And the real problem is the Delos when it is overclocked because three fans spinning at 2000 RPM really produce a lot of noise. But if you're going to run this CPU, this cooler with a stock CPU, it's actually fine because the fans never spin more than half their speed and make for a really quiet experience. All in all, I think that the Delos RBW is a great choice for when you have size constraints or you want the aesthetic performance given to you by the addressable RGB. If you want pure performance, I'm sure you can get that somewhere else like the Noctua models because I think it's better to have a more performance, better cooling solution cooler. Or just go with a Mia RBW for example because if you have a case that it fits, it performs better, it costs the same and it, you still have the RGB lighting. So if you want us to answer any question about the Dallas RBW, please let us know and leave your comments on the comment section. As always, like and subscribe, and we will try to keep you to keep bringing you new reviews of hardware. So, see you in the next video, guys.